Yeah, this is a little crash review of my Cask 2015 helmet. It is the Mojito model. And as you can see, it isn't uh, perfect on both sides. Uh, this little piece on the right side is, it is a bit of a wing here. Uh, this one fell out. Uh, it got a bit compressed in this area and scratched the sticker. So it's kind of obvious that this is where I hit the ground at 22 km per hour. I uh, was coming home from work and I, yeah, I fell over the bike. So I had a headache for about 36 hours and I went to the doctors and they said I had no neurological symptoms, so that was good. I kind of scratched myself a bit on the, on the knees and my elbow and the, hurt my hip and the axle, but yeah, it's it's uh, all right. I'm getting better. Uh, as you can see in the Strava log over here, I was uh, starting to pull some wattage over here, and uh, the blue graph is the speed. I was starting to pull, go up in speed, and it came to a quick halt. I lay there for a while, prob probably the logging uh, auto stopped and I gathered myself, picked up my glasses and everything that fell off and I started walking feeling that it was okay, straightened the, the steering and uh, then I started riding my bike again because it was kind of boring to walk and I went home. Uh, would I buy this helmet again? It is a very comfortable helmet. I really enjoy having it on me, uh, but uh, probably my next helmet will be a Scott Cadence Plus because it has the MIPS uh, protection system to prevent. Uh, it, gets, uh, it gives you less head ro skull rotation when you do an impact like this. So safety, yeah, it's kind of gotten more higher in the priority. And if you do like me, going home from work in Sweden, you have probably a good insurance. So I'm getting fully compensated for my uh, financial loss by new clothes and a new, a new helmet. But uh, if you're looking for a com comfortable helmet and a good looking helmet, for sure, go with the cask. But for me, it's... The, a MIPS helmet the next time.